Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video, but right now it's exam season and of course I needed to find another thing to procrastinate with. So lately I've been doing a lot of drawing, especially on my iPad. And even though my next exam is in like a week and a half, I have been drawing on my iPad like every day. And I really felt the need to show you guys what I've been drawing. I'm really happy. And like, ah, uh, I don't know. I just, I have to show you guys what I've been drawing because I'm so proud of my work. And uh, yeah. I don't know, I kind of want to like geek out too a little bit because I drew one of my favorite characters from Star Trek. <laughs> I know, kind of nerdy, but I mean, Star Trek is so fun, like, I don't know. <laughs> They're so creative and I just really like the characters. They're so different than... I don't know. They're so different, but they're also not different. Like, they're kind of relatable in a way, but... Yeah, now I'm just getting off on a tangent. Um, so that was like my little introduction to the video. So I decided to draw T'Pol. Um, T'Pol is a Vulcan from Star Trek, specifically from Star Trek Enterprise. And that was a Star Trek series made in 2004. So it's relatively new. I mean, it's not that new, but I mean, cause like there are newer Star Trek seasons out, but I, really like this one so much like the whole crew is amazing and captain archer is super humble and great but yeah if you guys are interested in star trek you should definitely watch star trek enterprise or the newest star trek that's out so this is a picture of t'pol she's a vulcan so her ears are like pointy as you can tell and her eyebrows are like slanted up and she basically Vulcans are basically similar to humans though they're different because they don't express their emotions at all they basically suppress all their emotions and it's super interesting because they don't show that they're happy or sad or angry they're like s super neutral most of the time so it's just really interesting to see how they react to different scenarios and also important to note Vulcans are super intelligent and very rational very logical so they are great for science and for investigating so to Paul's job is a science officer and uh, so she's very smart and she's also second in command so if anything happens to the captain, she takes over. And yeah, I thought that would be like a little cute, fun introduction to why I decided to draw to Paul. And now I will go through how I drew her. And then you guys have to stay till the end to see the final results. So as you can tell, I started um, just outlining her face and her clothes and outlining the most important detail so I can get the proportions right later. And then I just put like a solid colors um, to like as an undercoat, undercoat, <laughs> yeah, as like an underlayer, I guess. And I have to say, it's really helpful having the picture below, but then I take it away later because um, it's not really, uh, it's not really u useful. So then I, what I do on my iPad, I split screen it. So on one side of the screen, I have a picture of, yeah, the picture that I want to <laughs> copy, I guess, or uh, draw on my iPad. And on the other side of the screen, I have my drawing. So as you can tell, I, also, I already have like the basic colors down and I am switching from having the lines and not having the lines because the lines can be kind of um, distracting when you're getting into the like detailed work. Um, for example, like shading and blending, but it's really good to have in the beginning as a guideline. So like 
you'll see throughout the video that the lines will come and go. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I had a white background, but I actually prefer having a gray background um, when I'm drawing because white is so in your face and kind of distracting and not that neutral. And the white can actually distort the colors, the other colors. So I try to get like I try to get like a more neutral color as the background usually, but I just didn't feel like doing it this time. <laughs> as you can tell now, I'm doing a little contouring on the face um, to give it more dimension. If you don't do this, then the face will look very flat and just not realistic at all. So I recommend doing like a few shades darker than the base skin skin tone and then I would start highlighting the cheekbones and around the eye area especially on top of the eye where the crease is and also the nose the nose is a big place like that's an important place to contour you have to remember noses don't have harsh lines like you know the triangle shapes that you draw in <laughs> when you're a kid it's not really like that. It's more like you have to contour it. Okay, so now I'm drawing the eyes. I definitely chose the wrong shade of white. I mean, it looks completely gray to me, but I mean, it's because of the stark contrast with the white background. Um, but I will change the color later. I mean, it's just to have like as a base coat. There, I decided to have a blue background because I was kind of sick of having the white one. Also, I try to choose a color that was kind of like Star Trek-y, but in like, you know, the typical dark blue color. Um, yeah, and then right now I'm just doing detailed work um, around the eyes. I'm giving her eyelashes and I'm also giving her pupils. And oh my gosh, it's so important to have that white reflective dot. It makes the eye look so much more real. And then her eyebrows, I'm basically like, uh, on the outline of the eyebrows, I'm softening it out so it looks more realistic. And now you can see I have a different background, like <laughs> more space Star Trek-y related. Uh, I really like it. And then like for the stars, there's actually like this, um, there's this setting on Procreate where you can just pick this brush type and uh, you don't even have to make all those individual dots. You just have to like um, have a big brush and do a few swipes and then they're there. So that's a nice tip. Um, so here I did the other eye, um, exactly the same as the I did the first eye, just more detail. Um, I added a little bit of blue to the brown to get more dimension. And now I'm doing the lips. I started off with a pink base coat and then I gave it a little red outline. Um, I outlined the bottom of the lip more than the top. The top is more lighter um, to make it more realistic. I had a little problems with the lips because um, the outer layer on the bottom was kind of harsh, so I tried to blend it out. And I also tried to like add some highlights and add some fine lines to make it look more realistic. Um, so yeah. And I'm still blending it out um, and putting an opaque white layer on top to blend it out a little bit more. I'm also giving fine details to the ears, which um, from my base photo, the, from my reference photo, it was quite hard to see what her ears looked like. And I know they look so weird right now. And, uh, but it was so hard because in the reference photo, her whole ear was completely dark. So I was just guessing, but I'll get back to that later. I will fix that later. And then I started doing the hair super important to have a base coat and then I just started off with some highlights like highlighted streaks and I blended out her bangs because they were super harsh 
and I added some fine lines to that. And then you just, the key is to add different colors to the hair, like both light and dark shades to give it more dimension and to not blend it out too much because you want it to look kind of, not like stringy, but you want it to look like hair. So as you will see, it will look more realistic with all the shading. Um, yeah, and make sure to put shading around the ear. I am doing the her clothes. It's actually a velvet. Her her uniform is like a velvet um, thing, so it's kind of hard to draw, but I really liked how it turned out anyway. So yeah, here is the final product. I'm so happy how Tapal turned out. I can't believe how realistic she looks like it blows my mind how from the very beginning she just looked like a blob and then after all this detailed work it just all came together you guys have to trust the process so that sums it all up i hope you guys enjoyed my little run through the little time lapse i'm thinking about doing more of those time lapses in the future I'm really getting into digital art, so stay tuned for that. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. And I support all you guys who are going through exams now. All of you guys are amazing, and I believe in you. Good luck on your exams. I'll see you soon.